Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Rene Redzepi. I'm Rocio Sanchez. Rocio works here with us and uh, is of Mexican descent, and she is opening a taqueria in Copenhagen. And she has been investigating the last three months uh, into uh, tortillas and how to make it. We thought that it'd be good to show you a little bit. It starts by having corn, a high quality corn that's very starchy, and then calc, they call it in Mexico, which is essentially right now ground up limestone. And you mix a portion of this with water, and then you boil your corn. That breaks down the cell structure, releasing new nutrients. Then you let it sit in this solution for half a day. You then put them in your mill, or in this case, just in the mortar. And then finally, it ends up being the paste of the dough that uh, is known to be a masa. The dough here, it doesn't last forever. It has a shelf life of how long? A few hours, a few hours. A few hours. So of course, th these things used to be made by hand, by simply. But you know, today they have all these like new technical marvels here. <laughs> Too fast, do a tortilla. Just like that. When is the tortilla just perfect? When it starts to souffle. Yeah. But the whole pancake should sort of puff up as a pillow. And that's when you know it's done. Moment of truth. That one's gonna souffle. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Come on, man. Souffle. Mm. This is not really what I was hoping for. It's gonna be here now. Just wait and see. You can have Italian chefs talk about the difficulties in creating the right pasta dough. You'll pay 30, 40, 50 euros for a bowl of spaghetti because the story is right. But a tortilla can only cost, you know, 50 cent for one. You know what I mean? Maybe the storytelling have been wrong and therefore also their appreciation for it. That's what I believe. But once you have the right consistency and the right quality of the tortilla, well then this is like a perfect, you know, it's a perfect food because you can have three, four ingredients that seemingly just seems like unrelated to each other. And then you add them into a tortilla and you fold it together and suddenly it's a meal, you know? That's the power of this tortilla. It just brings things together.